What's up guys, it's Machanga back with another video. Today we're gonna take a look at some of my must have tech in the office. These are devices and accessories that I use a lot and some even daily. If you're interested in getting more information about anything I mentioned in this video, all of the links will be down below in the description, including updated pricing. First up, we have the 12.9 inch iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. When it comes to note taking, drawing, jotting down ideas during brainstorming sessions, this is a great high quality option. Whether you just want a big beautiful screen for media consumption, a second screen for your MacBook, or a really overkill device for taking to classes or meetings, and it's within your budget, the iPad Pro paired with the Apple Pencil and a nice compact keyboard is hard to pass up. I alternate between two different keyboards for this iPad, the Apple Smart Keyboard that I bought the same day I got the iPad and the Logitech Slim Folio Pro. Most days I'm using the Logitech Slim Folio Pro and I hardly ever take it off. While it's not as slim as the Apple edition, it has a full row of iOS shortcut keys at the top, it's backlit, and the keyboard has nicely spaced keys so it feels almost like typing on a normal laptop. If I want to take a look at something stored on a flash drive or SD card, this iPad Pro has a multi-function USB-C port and can now recognize and access files on external storage. I've been able to use SD cards, external hard drives, external SSDs, and several different USB-C hubs. With the release of iPad OS and its powerful new features, it's been a breeze editing photos and even some videos when I'm away from my desk. It's not the cheapest quote unquote tablet, but in my opinion, it has no current competition. If you want a more in-depth review on this or any of the other items in this video, let me know down in the comment section. Now, this probably should have been number one on the list. It's my primary laptop, the Lenovo ThinkPad P1. This model has a Xeon processor, 64 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA Quadro GPU. It's a work laptop for photo and video editing, accounting tasks, and other business-related activities. There won't be any benchmarks in this video or super technical testing, but in my real-world use, this laptop delivers high performance in all of the areas that matter to me. I'm not a gamer, so I decided on this configuration over the almost identical Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme. While you can easily game on this laptop, if you consider yourself more than a casual PC gamer, you wanna check out the X1 Extreme since that one has a GeForce graphics card. The keyboard on this laptop is tactile and amazing. So whether I'm typing for an extended amount of time or just responding to some emails, the experience is comfortable and it doesn't cause fatigue. I love the sleek matte black finish, plus it's slim and lightweight, especially for a mobile workstation. It's a 15 inch laptop with a touch screen and all of the ports that matter in my workflow. You have your power port, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, full size HDMI, mini ethernet port that requires an included adapter, headphone jack, two USB type A ports, Kensington lock, and a full-size SD card slot. I love the fact that I can pull my memory card right out of my camera and slide it straight into the laptop without the need for an additional adapter or dongle. If I wanna get some work done outside of the office, this fits easily into my favorite backpack, even though it's not as slim as my 2018 MacBook Pro. But I still prefer to carry my P1 because ports are a really big deal for me. Plus, this ThinkPad has pin support, so I can leave my iPad Pro behind when I'm on the go. It's been super reliable, and with Dolby Vision HDR, high color accuracy, and a Dolby Atmos speaker system, streaming and watching movies is a joy. There are so many laptop choices on the market, so I always encourage you to do your own research for what best suits your needs. But for me, this is a great, stealthy, and versatile laptop that I can easily recommend. This next device might not look too familiar to some of you, but if you crave crazy fast external storage, you definitely want this one on your wish list. This is the pluggable USB-C to M.2 NVMe enclosure. It's affordable, compact, and tool-free. I decided to use a Samsung 970 Evo M.2 NVMe drive inside of mine. It's similar to the Samsung 970 Pro drives I have in my desktop computer. It's blazing fast, tiny, and comes in different storage sizes. I typically store completed videos and documents I need readily accessible 
on this drive until I transfer them to my archive hard drive. All you need is a NVMe drive, the enclosure, the included USB-C 3.1 cable, and a functioning USB-C port on your computer. My laptops have Thunderbolt 3 ports, so they're fully compatible to realize the best speeds from this enclosure. I have a bunch of Samsung T5 SSDs, and they've been great and fast, but this definitely beats them in sheer speed. While we're talking about pluggable technologies, I have to mention one of my favorite Thunderbolt 3 docking stations. I've had this model for a couple of years and it's been a great addition to my 15 inch MacBook Pro. On the front, you get a USB 3 type A port and a USB C port. Around the back, you'll find the gigabit ethernet port, a second USB 3.0 type A port, microphone jack, headphone jack, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, display port, and the power port. I love my MacBook Pro, but it can really mean living the dongle life. If I'm using my MacBook at my desk and I want to connect to an external monitor, this is an easy solution. It's not the smallest, lightest docking station, and it doesn't include an SD card slot, but it's worked great for my needs. If you need or want a docking station that also offers power delivery to your laptop, there is another pluggable model I'll link below. This Thunderbolt 3 dock can also be used on compatible Windows machines like the Dell XPS if you don't use a MacBook. Pluggable makes great long lasting products, many of which I own, and this one is no exception. Last, but definitely not least, we have the Powerbeats Pro Totally Wireless by Apple. Long hours sitting behind a desk staring at a computer screen can get monotonous, so sometimes we add a little music to the mix. These are Bluetooth compatible, so you can use them on either iPhone or Android, but I use them with my iPhone XS Max. Pairing is a breeze, and I love the option to use just one while the other earphone charges in the case. We have these in black and they look and feel great in the ears. I can get around nine hours of listening time from them and having the ear hooks not only make them comfortable, but they stay in place unlike other earbuds I've used in the past. While I use them a lot in the office and at home, these are great for working out since they are sweat and water resistant. When I need to take calls, these have great clarity and good noise isolation. There's been a lot of hype around the AirPods and now AirPod Pros, but they don't come in black or any other colors and I genuinely don't like the design. The only advantage to the AirPod line, in my opinion, is the small form factor. So if you need them to fit nice and comfy in your pocket, you might prefer the AirPods. At around $200 to $250 US, I wouldn't call the Powerbeats Pro a budget pair of earphones, but for my needs, they've been well worth the investment. If you want high quality sound in a Bluetooth package, definitely give these a test drive. This is not a complete list of the only items I consider to be must have. So make sure you check out the link below to my Amazon page. That'll show you lots of the things I use regularly. New tech and recommendations will be added as time goes on. So make sure you bookmark it. Feel free to jump down in the comment section and tell me some of your must have tech. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you tap the bell icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. It's always a pleasure interacting with you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.